my god, we're not even done yet. Literally everything went wrong, of course it did. We'll I want you away from him. I've known Clementine since Get before away from him started. right now. She'll come around. Do we kill Lily in this episode? This episode or come around, next Jim, one. Once you see what we have to offer, plenty of food, comfortable. Bed, Question is, do I do it? And what that room. will result in? <sighs> I'm so furious. Found one more sneaking over the docks. Ten. God darn it! No, no! Don't you dare make me choose! Don't you dare! Tennessee, don't you dare! You lost, ma'am. He wasn't alone. This way. No, not James, not James, not James, not James. God darn it. God darn it, no. Found this in the herd. Of course. No of course wonder there were so many walkers. <sighs> Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say. God. Not fucking scary. What do I do? What do I do? I'm sick and terrified. Is that so? There's no way all three of them are others. leaving this boat alive. These are the three I have to because choose from. You're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. No! no, 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 don't you dare, don't you dare. What the fuck? No, come Easy on. There, don't hurt him. Just stop I hurting can't stop people. shaking. I'm just getting terrified. Please. Shoot her! James, oh no. Oh no, Why I have to choose between Ten and James. No. Give me my friends, no. Put down come the on. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. No, 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 no. Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Save your God friend. darn it, you're stinking evil. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please don't! No! Oh jeez, AJ, you really gotta stop this biting happen? What the fur, dude? Okay, 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 go! Let's go! Let's go. I don't think you care. Hurry up! No, 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 don't you dare! Don't you dare! Hurry, go, go! Hurry up, get up, get up, get up, get up! Oh my, the arrow is usually just for a tap! It's not- Oh my god, no! X, X, X! This is the time, it's happening now! Come on, come on! Come on, no! No, 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 no! Hurry! Did it. Oh my god, oh it did nothing! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Grab it! Oh, that did something. Hurry up! Keep doing it! This is it for you. Oh, I gotta get that gun, gotta get that gun. Oh no, it's up to AJ. AJ, wait! I give up! She's not getting out of here. AJ, the boat's gonna explode. She gun. won't survive. Don't let everyone leave. My crew and I will leave. We won't bother you anymore. Oh. AJ, she's not a threat. Lower the gun. You There's going to be a consequence though if we don't kill her. What is it? She tried to cut us all up. There's going to be a consequence to, to sparing her. I know there is. I know there me, is. Me. James warned us. Just what might happen to him. Can't let her hurt anyone else. I don't want it. I'm die. sorry. I'm sorry. Do it, AJ. No. 
Oh my god. No, 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 dude. Dude, calm down. You're right. Oh no. She's actually gone, but what did we do to him? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Lily, we couldn't find the other. What did you do? You are fucking dead. Shit, the bomb. AJ! Oh no! Oh my god. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Don't you dare end there. Don't you dare. Don't you dare end there. Don't you dare. You will know! That, you cannot do that! That is an evil, evil cliffhanger. God darn it. Oh my god. No, 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 no. That is pure stinking evil. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I'm terrified for what ha what will happen. I honestly, I was I was expecting another fake out of We killed Lily in episode 3. Not 4. Would she have The explosion didn't well, there's no way she's getting out though. Would she have survived? I don't know. I am... Oh my god. And like, I'm trying to think... There's only one episode left, so like, what could they introduce to us that would change, like... Like, being worried about who AJ will become. I'm trying to think of how that will get implemented in this final episode. I don't know, but I'm terrified because I know the writers have a plan for it. Oh my god. Well, first off, the only good choice I probably made this episode. 93% of players, uh, Mercy killed Abel. Sure. 94% of players respected James's beliefs and killed no walkers. 3% of players killed some of the walkers in James's camp. 3% of the players ignored James's wishes and killed all of the walkers in the camp. I'm surprised it was that high up because, like, it was just frustrating. So I guess everyone just had patience for it, but... Oh my god. Oh my god. You and 66% of players named the bot. Wow, that's really a major choice. Whatever. Named it Mitch's Masterpiece. 10% named it Ruby's Revenge. 17% named it Willie Jr. That's just a funny name. 4% of players had a bomb named AJ. Okay. Why, why is it different? It says named the bomb Ruby's Revenge. Named the bomb Willie Jr. We have a separate bomb that we call AJ? Had a bomb named. I feel like AJ said something funny if like we don't mention it or if we don't name it, then he'll say something. I feel like that's a reference to the choice. I don't get it. Do we have an, another bomb? Had a bomb named AJ. I, that that's weird to me. Oh boy, you and seventy eight percent of players allowed AJ to attack Dorian, stopping her from cutting off your friend's finger. It was just the finger. I thought it was gonna be the entire hand. I was just like, oh no. 22% of players stopped AJ and let Dorian cut off your friend's finger. I guess it turned out okay, and I guess this would be Violet in the situation if we had her with us at the beginning instead of... Instead of Lewis. Oh god, I wasn't expecting that. For him, for him to bite her stinking ear off. So stinking gross and unsanitary, but it worked. 42% 42% of players Wait, you and 42% of players told AJ to kill Lily the uh, spacing in this is really bad. Hopefully that gets fixed. 58% of players refused to tell AJ to kill Lily. I wasn't expecting to be on the lower I don't know. I don't know. People just love James more than they hate Lily. That speaks volumes. James is incredible, but... I don't know what he's gonna think of us after this, but... Oh my god. No idea. Nine... Oh my god. <sighs> and how is everyone... Lily's dead. She's finally dead. Lily was inspired to take action after... He... She's pure evil. There was no redemption for her. 
I will be legitimately shocked if episode 4 actually has a redemption arc for her, if she actually survives this explosion. I 100% doubt it, but honestly, after everything she put us through and Lee through, and I don't regret this decision. I have to take into consideration everything that happened in episode 1, or not episode 1, in season 1, and in season 4. I wish there was an option to make it so Clem was the one killing Lily. That would be a no-brainer, though. Making AJ do it, though, that changed him. Unfortunately, it changed him. Also, Clem getting stabbed in the throat, it didn't go through, but that's gonna get implemented later. I'm... Oh my god, it's not a bite, it's not a walker bite, I just have to keep telling myself that, but... Oh no, I'm... I'm terrified. I'm so terrified. James is missing in action? James was thankful that you respected his beliefs and spared the walkers. James felt elated when you said there might be more walkers. There might be more two walkers. James was devastated that you told AJ to kill the Lily. What do you mean missing in action? Did he jump off the boat or you just mean like the explosion so we have no idea? Well, yeah, I guess that's everyone. Minerva missing in action. Oh my god. She ruined everything, Minerva. What the fruit? Like, I was... I was trying to, like, comfort myself in my decision to save Lewis and not Violet by thinking that Minnie would be there. She was actually still alive. Lily was telling the truth. Didn't she say Sophie was also alive as well? I don't know, but... Minnie's too long gone, like... I'm still tempted to try and get through to her, but Violet's gone too. I wasn't expecting it to be that extreme. And would it be the same? Like, I can't see it being completely believable. Like, maybe just Lewis and Minnie teaming up to achieve their common goal? I guess? Of hating Clementine? Because Clem killed Marlin and abandoned Lewis. Would it have been like a perfect combination to like, start the romance with Lewis and then abandon him? Would that actually work? Or starting a relationship with Violet and then abandoning her? Or would they just feel even more betrayed, like it was all a lie? Would they be willing to side with us? Like it was real, but then they would rationally acknowledge that we could only save one of them. It was not possible to save them both. Why do you gotta look into who I decided to save? It's a freak decision. It's... Spur of the moment. <sighs> Minerva was stunned when you told her Marlin killed Brody. Minerva was dejected when you said Ten would be ashamed to call her, her. Would be ashamed to call her sister. Minerva felt heartsick after learning Ten forgave her. Everyone's missing in action. Violet, what gives? Violet blew off your reasons for not saving her. Violet despises you after her capture. That, that saddens me so much. God darn it. I don't know. If there is like a perfect combination in which I could have interacted with Violet and Lewis to make it so they're both on my side in this situation. Should I have abandoned the romance one? Like... Oh my god, part of me feels like that would have been like keeping it a bit safe, like they would believe in me to go after them and like, oh my god, Violet despises me? That hurts. The fact that you're putting every single character missing in action, oh my god. I'm also surprised the dog didn't die, but so, Rosie's the only one certified to be alive, right? Lewis missing in action, god darn it, I'm sorry. Lewis was delighted when you decided to go on a date with him. Lewis was touched that you wanted to hear why he was sent to Erickson. Lewis was calmed when you were sympathetic to his story about how he was sent to Erickson. Lewis was thankful when you let AJ stop Dorian from cutting off his finger. I assume Violet would be the same way she would show us her file. Like, what would it be? God darn it, I Oh my god, Abel's dead, whatever. Abel fell assured when you promised him mercy. Cool. AJ. Missing in action. Oh my god, they know how to freak me out. 
AJ felt conflicted after you killed Abel, sparing him from turning. AJ felt defeated when you said there was no way to prove you could be together as walkers. AJ felt powerful when you told him to shoot Lily. Powerful isn't the word I was expecting, but I don't know. 10, missing in action. 10 was grateful when you stood up for him against Willie. 10 was grateful when you promised to tell Minerva he forgave her. Cool. Stay of the school. Rosie is worried about everyone. Poor Rosie. Willie was excited that you wanted to name the bomb after him. Did they not come with us? Well, they weren't on the boat, so they're okay. Ruby was proud you did not recognize her official Erickson evaluation. Cool. Omar, a sim, missing in action. Do we even get them out of the cages? Oh, God. Uh, I got three of six. I could have taken the wind chime. Okay, minor detail, but... I'm so... I was concerned about... I was concerned that the switch of companies would dumb down this episode. Like, I was worried it would be short compared to the other two. I was praising how long they were and how well written they were and everything like that. I was really worried that some faults would show in the switching of companies. I noticed a few glitches this time around. Nothing game-breaking, but, like, nothing I really remember from the first two recordings. But, um, they knocked it out of the park again. It was a flawless episode, kind of. Like, that's a weird word to use, considering the state we're in, but... It was amazing. It was incredible. Oh my god, like, the writing was just as great as ever. The party seemed a little forced, but I enjoyed the heck out of it. It was fun. It made me happy. I love all these characters. Oh my god, like, I can't stop thinking. Could I have Lewis and Violet on my side? I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Part of me thinks no, but part of me feels like... Because throughout the months of waiting for this episode to come out, like, in regretting the decision to abandon Violet, because it felt horrible considering, like, she stood up for us against Marlin. And, like, I also felt weird about starting the relationship with Lewis because, like, I felt like that was more for me. But with Clementine in my actions and conversations in the game, I feel like I was leaning more towards Violet with Clem. So if I had... But Violet is connected to Minerva, though. But Lewis, I had to win him over in episode two. The only reason I feel like I did is because of the relationship thing, so. I don't know. That's, it evens out to them to. I don't know. And she voted for us to stay. Lewis kicked us out immediately. I don't know. I don't know. Would that have made them more loyal to us if I let the one I started a romance with get taken? I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. It'll all be up to the final episode. Like, they're all missing in action. I feel like they're all going to be alive, at least at the beginning of the episode. It'd be weird if, like, we just... That'd be, like, a season two thing. If, like, we just start the episode and be like, Oh, hey, who died during the explosion? Oh, these characters are gone. Well, glad I got a say in it. I feel like I'm going to have a say... In the end, I feel like everyone's going to be alive and then it'll be up to me to decide to decide and to determine and who lives and who doesn't. But part of me starts to feel like the four episodes isn't going to cut it. A, we have to recover from this and B, I feel like we need to wrap up their chapter before we wrap up Clementine's, if that makes any sense. Like whatever happens between Clem and AJ... And they've, they've hinted from the first trailer that Clem could get bitten in this final season. And I know this won't be the end of the zombie apocalypse. It will not. It will not end the apocalypse. We will not find an answer. But an end to Clem's story, what does that mean? It doesn't end. It does not end. If... She If she's alive, I'm, that's the only way to put it. If she's alive, her story isn't over. 
there's no point in ending it if she's still alive. There's still more growth and more chaos to happen. I feel like, oh my, I really hope it doesn't come to this, but is it going to be impossible for Clem and AJ to be alive in the end? Do I have to choose between one or the other? AJ said he, will, he would want to die if Clem did. I feel like Clem is just right there with him, though. But I'm in control of her, so I feel like she wouldn't kill herself if, if I didn't make the decision to. But I don't know, like, it's happened in other games. I can't say without spoiling other games, but, like, where if the main character just fails in their quest, if they lose the one thing that gives them purpose for living, you don't have a say in the matter anymore. They don't want to continue living. They just go. Oh my god, like... Would I have to choose between Clem and AJ or the other people? I don't, I don't know. I do not know. I don't know what else to say. Like, I don't have any, like, positive message or positive outlook on anything. I feel like I just messed up a million times and... I'm going to be paying for it. I don't really know what else to say. Just wait for the final episode and wait for this story to be wrapped up for good. Now that it's gotten so amazing though, I don't want it to end. God darn it, this series, it started off incredibly strong. I adore season one. Despite all of its crazy glitches, in terms of a story... It's perfect. I absolutely love that game. You can play just that one and be satisfied. Season 2, there are things I like and dislike about it. I really didn't like it first time playing it, but I liked it more over time. Season 3, I feel like completely messed up and just had a downward sp spiral, like dumb decisions, and like, I didn't enjoy it. Season 4, though, it knocked everything out of the park. It's doing things perfectly. It's incredible. But they have a plan to end it now. Is it because of the bankruptcy? Is it because of the reception of season 3? Is it because they truly... I know they didn't truly wish for it to go this long. They planned to end it in season 1. But the popularity blew up so they continued it. But are they truly satisfied and ready to end this on a note that they're happy with? Or is that just impossible to even imagine? A happy ending in an apocalypse story? I have no idea. Or maybe I do, but I just don't want to admit it. I don't know. There's nothing else I could really say. I'm just going in circles. But, but next episode is our final adventure with Clementine. I'll just keep doing what I've always done, for better or for worse. I'll try and protect her and everyone that she cares about till the very end. And I hope that that'll be enough. Next time on The Walking Dead, the final season, the finale. Our Sweet Pea's journey is coming to an end. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.